In this video, we have three specs that you can still find for under $25 that have a massive potential upside. Stay tuned. Bryce Comics. First off, we have a brand new giveaway announcement. Subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, and like this video, and you're entered to win this awesome set of books for the recount, one of the books that's talked about in this video. It comes with Recount Ashcan, which is a promotional uh, two-page comic that's in black and white, which is why they call it an Ashcan. Definitely one of the money books for this series because it's incredibly rare. Um, and it also comes with the Recount number one, first print cover A, number two, first print cover A, number three first print cover a and number four first print cover a the entire first arc in this series and again all you have to do to be entered to win is subscribe to the channel comment on this video and like this video all right in the house of slaughter update we are sold out of the one in 1000 the one in 500 the one in 200 the one in 100 and at the time of filming this video i had about 10 sets left of the one in 50 and so after that we are down to the one in 25s and below and i also added um, a couple new bundles there's a one in 25 10 pack uh, limited quantities available over on the website the one in 25 is a foil version of the werther deladera cover b and so i thought this would be a great opportunity to provide something if you're buying a 10 pack you're obviously a flipper and a speculator and you want to resell it so i thought this would be a good opportunity you could pick up a 10 pack of the one in 25s and a 10 pack of the cover b and then you can do like a regular version version foil version set for the one in 25s and at the price I'm offering it at I'm sure you can make some profit off of that um, and there's also 10 packs of the one in 10 secret variant incentive over on the website as well but now we have some other giveaway announcements check out all of this all of these books right here are all giveaways so congratulations to Justin Voss Justin you are the winner of the two copies of infamous Iron Man number one cover a first appearance of Tony Stark AI. So congratulations to you, Justin. And congratulations to Repair Tech Tony. You are the winner of this set of books. Uh, Sleigh Bells, number one, the Bad Idea One Shot. Something is Killing the Children, number one, the eighth print. Wind, number one, some James Tynion goodness. And S Amazing Spider-Man, number one, the first cameo appearance of Silk. So congratulations to you, Repair Tech Tony, and congratulations to Annabelle Neves. You are the winner of this Something is Killing the Children, number one, CGC 9.8, local comic shop day, full foil edition from the newsletter giveaway over at BryceComics.com. And I noticed that a lot of people that have made purchases off of the site are not signed up for the newsletter. So just so you know, if you're not signed up for the newsletter, if you don't go to the bottom of the homepage and enter your email in, you're not entered to win the monthly giveaway. And every single month I have a giveaway. This month's slab giveaway prize is Invincible number one in a CGC 9.8, the local comic shop day gold foil edition. So make sure you're subscribed to that newsletter if you're not already. And every single month that you stay subscribed, you're entered to win a new slab. Lastly, congratulations to Captain Beardo. Captain Beardo, you are the winner of this awesome ASM 55 CGC 9.8 the Patrick Gleason webhead cover that started it all and it comes with a Bryce Comics hat let me know Captain Beardo if you're not interested in the hat I will give it to somebody who is I don't expect everyone to want to sport Bryce Comics swag but shout out to Branded Bills for providing these hats at a really awesome price um, use code Bryce Comics for 20% off everything on their website or free shipping on your first custom order they have a really awesome IG page and an awesome website site too for all your swag needs check out branded bills so that's a lot of giveaways you guys honestly it is my pleasure to give back to the community i just want to say thank you so much for all of the support i'm humbled and incredibly grateful for how quickly we've come so far um, and i'm really excited for all the things that uh, have yet to come so thanks once again for the support all right first up we have recount number one from scout comics and without giving away too many details and definitely no spoilers this series is about an American terrorist group that assassinate the president and then vow to kill any and everyone that helped him ascend to presidency, including all of the politicians which endorsed him and those who voted for him. It's an absolutely spine-chilling read because as you're reading it, 
your eyes just get kind of big and you're like, holy crap, I could see this actually playing out. The terrorist mentioned something in the story about social media and about how public we all are with all of our political agendas and everything. And it really makes you take a step back and think about our current political climate, how hairy things could get, and your actions in particular. It's just such a compelling story because of how relevant and topical it is. And so when it first came out, I was all in. I went out and bought 100 copies of Cover A and the incentives and ash cans because it seemed like I was reading a completed screenplay. I mean, it was that good. It was like the purge meets modern day politics. And I think that this story is so marketable and so usable, it's bound to get a movie or series. Because here's the thing, every single election year in our country, there is a stark dichotomy, a fierce division between left and right. And that means that this movie could be released at any election time and it would stand to do well because every single election it's the same story it's that same division between left and right tensions are high and this movie would do so well if it came out around election time so last month this showed up on key collector because they are hearing rumblings that something is in the works and that was reason enough for me to pull all of my copies out of storage and send them off to cgc i've been around long enough not that long but long enough using key collector app to know that when they're hearing rumblings that something is right around the corner and you can still get cover A for right around $10. There's lots of low print run exclusives for this series. I just picked up a whole bunch of the Virgin exclusives for cover A at $15 a pop. And there's lots of really good deals to be had because there hasn't been an official announcement about this yet. But as soon as one comes, watch all the stock on eBay disappear in five minutes. Now's your chance to get ahead of the curve a little bit before that announcement comes. All right, next up, we have Nice House on the Lake number one. And this book gave me a similar reaction to the recount. And here's how it went down. The day the book came out, Nice House on the Lake, I sat down to read it. I got five pages in. I set the book down. I went to eBay and I bought 50 copies of cover A. Then I came back, I finished reading the book, set the book down, went back to eBay and bought a whole bunch of exclusive covers. Now we're on the third print. Every subsequent print is selling out and cover A is selling consistently for around $25. The story here in James Tiny and the Fourth's writing is so freaking good. At the very least, you owe it to yourself to go pick up one of those subsequent prints and read it because you can still get a second or third print for right around cover price. James Tiny mentioned in his newsletter that several of his current series are are getting talked about in Hollywood and that several things are close to an announcement. And I think that this is one of them just based on the story alone, the selling power it's seen already. This is just one of those slam dunks in my opinion. This thing is bound for the screen. Even at a $25 buy-in, I think if and when it's optioned, you will be wishing you could find it for 25 bucks. And lastly, we have Dr. Afra number one. This is the first solo series for Dr. Afra, and it's also the first cameo appearance of Corin Afra, the father of Dr. Afra. This is a book that you can still pick up all day for $10 or less. And as we've seen through comic book history, the first solo series of a character is always considered a key book. I could see this book being anywhere between $100 and $200 slabbed in a CGC 9.8 and maybe even more if and when a trailer is announced and the show is released. A Dr. Aphra spinoff has been rumored for the MCU since November of 2020. And there's enough articles on the web with inside sources confirming that I think it's almost certain that a Dr. Aphra spinoff is going to happen for Disney+. Plus. Certain enough to go and pick up cover A for $10 or less. There's an action figure variant for this issue of Dr. Aphra number one that features Black Kersantan, which is all over the place price-wise. There's been sales of around $30, sales over $100, but that would be a killer key to own if you can find it for a good deal because it has both of these spec characters, Black Kersantan and Dr. Afra, who are both rumored for Disney+. Plus. If you're going to pick up a raw copy of this off eBay, I would suggest sticking with cover A because the incentive covers for this series are already really pricey. The covers are hard to get in high grade. Sellers are asking a lot of money for them, and it's just too much of a risk, in my opinion, to, sp to shell out that kind of money for a raw copy just to have it come in and be low grade. So I would stick with cover A for the spec. That's it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and you're entered to win this awesome set of the recount, including the Ashcan edition and issues one through four, all first print cover A's. 
All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, and like this video, and you're entered to win. Don't forget to head over to BriusComics.com, sign up for that newsletter, and every single month you stay subscribed, you're entered to win. This month is Invincible, number one, CGC 9.8, uh, local comic shop day, gold foil edition. Once again, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bryce Comics.